Alright guys, welcome back to another Itch.io free to play walkthrough. Today we have Passage, which is a visual novel where your cat becomes like an Egyptian god or something and then you like take interviews, so that's kind of exciting. Hopefully it'll teach me how to get better job interviews because I suck at that. Um, but if you want to check out the game for yourself slash want to support the creator, I'm going to leave a link to the Itch.io page in the description where you can find it and you can rate their game and tell them, oh you did an awesome job. Or you can tell them, oh wow. Uh, this game didn't hit on a whole lot whatever you want to tell them um, and if you like the video please like and subscribe I always appreciate that as well alright let's crack into this that's some crazy noises that's really loud where am I who am I speaking with I don't know my hands shake and droplets of sweat fall down my face on my face I never felt this nervous in my entire life. My stomach is in knots. Please make it in. Holy crap, it's so loud. Now tell me your name. Uh, uh, okay. Panda. What a strange name. So you're the fluffy panda. I, yes. Silence is not useful in our situation. There is no silence. This noise is not the silence. <laughs> we need to know more about you to proceed and reach an agreement. Tell me why you're worthy enough for us. This is something I have rehearsed time and time again. But I freeze, unable to make the words come out of my mouth. I see. Now what I was looking for. I did everything the internet told me to. Nice clothes, a big smile, and a positive attitude. Man. This is <laughs> relatable. <laughs> Why won't my thoughts and actions connect? Very well. I will continue our interrogation. Please note that time is limited and you will be judged based on your answers. If you do not succeed, you will be left to fight on your own. I have no choice but to comply. If I want to make it out alive... Question one. Tell us your most embarrassing moment. Ha! <laughs> no. Isn't that a little personal? Why would anyone ask this type, this in this type of situation? I guess I should tell her something. Uh, pfft. Most embarrassing situation. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Interesting. We've never had that type of answer before. I can't believe you would share that with me. Well, what, what? What did I do wrong? Now here's an easier one. Where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, dot dot dot. I see. Very well. Next question. Do you see yourself working for us? I tried to respond, but I can't. I am paralyzed. Let's say we already did an answer choice. So I am paralyzed in fear. The goddess gives me an evil glance, and her voice turns from sweet to sour. Stop wasting my time. As you probably know, we have ten thousand more applicants to interrogate. I still am required to review your application and responses. We will let you know our de decision in approximately five thousand seven hundred and thirty business days. But you have no chance. You never will. We only accept the best. Just give up. I want to scream, but nothing comes out. This job sucks! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> no. no one will hear me. Again and again. I am stuck in an endless loop of interrogations. No one will hire me. The sensation of falling overwhelmed in me and I start to panic. The goddess gave me an evil glance and her sweet voice turned from sweet to sour again. Goodbye for now. We must make your exit. Wait for my call. Although nothing will come of it. There is no hope for you. I feel an intensity swallow my whole body. A mysterious figure reaches her hand out, as if to give me a handshake. But instead she pushes me further into the darkness. 
rude. Will someone help me? Please. Anyone. Thank God we're out of that noise. <laughs> Lord. Ah! Not again. That was one hell of a dream. Or was it? It felt too real to tell. Do you ever have a nightmare that just keeps coming back? It's been like this the last few nights. Every time I think about job interviews, it becomes a battle of wits with a godlike figure. Maybe I should stop looking up horror stories on the internet before bed. That's a good idea. Time to rise and shine. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. It's been a few weeks since my I obtained my bachelor's degree from whatever university, and I'm in the most dreaded phase of my 20-something life, job searching. It makes sense why I have constant nightmares over them. I've been in about five interviews this the past month. None of them were successful. No calls, communication, or anything. It's so damn hard interviewing in person, especially for me. They always ask these weird questions that have seemingly nothing to do with the job, and I always freeze up just like I do in my nightmares. I struggle with what to say. How do I make myself marketable? I majored in communications. I really have no clue. <laughs> you picked a bad major, bro, if you struggle with this. I really have no clue how to navigate through these conversations. Speaking of, I'm really trying to figure out what exactly I want to do with my degree and what company to look for. I shudder at the thought of my last interview, but not all hope is lost. I turn to my roommate and give him a good morning pat on the head. On all fours, he purrs loudly, stretching after a cat long cat nap. Yes, my roommate is a cat, and most recently my job hunting companion. Good meowing. I am so excited and filled with power. Thank you for the rejuvenating meal time. Canned food is the absolute best. Oh god. He's a little bit weird too. Yeah, I know, it might not make sense, but my cat is a reincarnation of an Egyptian cat oh, ancient Egyptian god. Bestet? Which one is it? One that has infinite wisdom. I'm not kidding, seriously. I just found out yesterday. This was the type of thing that could happen in a weird sci-fi movie or video game. This music goes so hard, dude. <laughs> My cat talks and he's helping me with job stuff right now, but I'm still, I still am not very confident in it. Also, he turns into a human-like figure on the spot. So why are you even here again? This is all still a little confusing. Fear not. I will explain it all in detail later. Especially in the full version of the game. Oh, <laughs> I have come as you wished and desired. A beacon of hope and wisdom during this rough time. For I am the reincarnation of Toth. Ah, the god of wisdom and much more. Is it Toth like a bird though? I guess Bestest's not a god of wisdom. I, guess. I don't know what Bestest's a god of uh, I think it might be like, I don't know. But Toth, is, I thought was a bird. But please call me Professor T to keep things simple. I'm not from this world, but from ancient times. Yu-Gi-Oh! In the land of Egypt, I was once considered a god who helped people pass judgment. For centuries, I have been taking many forms for many people. I'm very well versed in many studies, including modern academia. I'm awakened by your desire to navigate the tough workforce. What is that? That's like a signature for the art, I guess? MF? Motherfucker! <laughs> no, is that an MF or an MD? <laughs> to sum things up, my cat transformed into a god, cat god thing. And now he's helping me navigate the strange world of job interviews. My apologies if this is weird, strange, or otherworldly. But you know I have come here with one mission in mind to help you during this time of horrible judgment, the dreaded job interviews. My colleagues and I have re been researching the current state of the workforce. Many employers are asking very odd and gut riching questions, making interview processes long and hard. Ho ho ho! It's not the only thing that's <laughs> Even worse, there aren't any great resources for people your age. You are pretty much told to go out on your own. It's unacceptable. Save. I want to help you now, how I can, and I think I have some ideas. You have an interview soon, right? So, we have to work quickly. Yes, I do. There's a large mega corporation downtown with tons of jobs. 
I know several of my classmates who work there. Oh, foot in the door, let's go. Luckily, they seem to be interested in my application. Pro Prof T is going to teach me some strategies he's gathered and help me in real time. Hey, I have yet to see his so-called powers, though. I mean, he's a goddamn talking cat, man. He's got powers. Ah, uh, yes, I've done my research. They are a huge corporation known for their hip offices and summer internship experiences. An ideal choice for the foot in the door, yes? My reports have said they that they have some of the oddest interview questions. According to my resources, it appears that the interviewers were given out of the box qu sweat box questions forcing them into despair over their answers. I will certainly help you with this, especially with my true power. Your true power? You do not have to worry. I have the ability to slow down time during job interviews. So I can suffer forever? <laughs> Thanks, God. While I converse with you in your consciousness, you will have time to reflect and react to their questions. Why don't we go practice and get ready? I take it. I take a deep breath to try to push my nerves aside. I need a deep breath here. I was running out of air. Let's do this. My interview is so soon. I'm so nervous. This place is huge. All right, we totally got this. Let's go over what we know. Plus, remember, you'll have my power during the interview. I will be able to converse like this while stopping time itself. No one can see me or communicate with me besides yourself. That's why no one can see me here. I am only visible to you because I am a projection of your consciousness. According to my intel, Eden Group is a large technology corporation, owning a variety of unique and bizarre startups. Most people list it as a rising company on par with some of our famous search engines and phone companies. The Verizon? Google, eh? This organization is very into their company culture. There are tons of goofy events throughout the years for employees. They also have laid back attitude. Laid back? This, then this would be a piece of cake then. Maybe I shouldn't be so nervous after all. Er, not quite. Several interviewees have stated that it is very hard to get into this place. Eating Group is known for asking personal, bizarre, and brain teaser type of questions that challenge you to think outside the box. Prepare for the unexpected. Additionally, they usually require a second interview. The first one is just an initial interview. Oh, I hate that. Do you think we could sneak into the conference room? This place is huge. Let's find somewhere quiet to prepare. Save. Save. We only get five safe spots? We made it to a quiet waiting room inside the huge building. Do the job! TI-196K- What does this mean? Don't know. Massachusetts. Tawanamo. I don't know. For such a high-end company, this place, this room feels super cramped. At least this space won't draw too much attention to me. Especially if I look like I'm talking to myself. Anyways, the best way to prepare an interview is to practice. True. I know we are sure on time, so let's go start with something simple. When interviewing for a company, you should know why you want to work here. Let's take a look at the job description. They are looking for a creative mind who stands out from their many applicants. Additionally, the employee should want to be part of the Eden corporate culture. To me, it seems like a pl pl like this place cares more about first impressions than actual qualifications. <laughs> qualifications. <laughs> if he was a qual, that would have been perfect. Anyways. Let's go over the types of questions you may encounter. Standard questions are present in every interview. You probably already experienced them. Make sure your answers align with the job description. Sometimes the employer will ask you to tell them your strengths and weaknesses. For strengths, I recommend being honest and think about how you would excel at the position. For weaknesses, you should also be honest, but put a, add a positive spin out to it. Hey, I hope I'm not losing you. Am I being helpful? Yeah, I keep going. Sorry, I'm just worried I'm talking way too much. I don't want to be a boring narrator. Haha, <laughs> ignore that. Anyways. Oh, did you just break the fourth wall? Is that what you did? Is that one of your powers? Toth? Pr prop T? Should I go over weird questions next, or should I review basic questions again? Next. 
Great, so you can you can't always be prepared for brain teasers. Interviewers ask these to get a better sense of your personality and problem solving skills. There is often no right answer, but make sure to answer thoughtfully. Many companies like to do this to get inside your brain. How sneaky. Don't worry, we will be able to talk through it in your conscience. There was a lot of information, but I think I got a handle on things. The last thing to do is nail the interview. A. Hey, I have to see if Professor T's powers in action to believe it, but I have a good feeling about this. Alright, I'm so excited to assist you. Let's rock this. Oh god, wait! Hey, you're here for the interview, right? I'll lead you to the con into the conference room. Here goes nothing. I thought we were going to practice, dude! What's up, Prof T? Here's the office. Oh, save. She will be with you shortly. Wow, this place looks straight out of a dystopian novel. Utopia novel. It looks real nice, don't it? Or is dystopian... I thought dystopian was like wastelands or something. This looks super nice. Like uh, Mad Max would be dystopian, wouldn't it? Maybe there's different dystopians. I don't know. No kidding. It's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do our best. I'm here for you. Plus, any time I converse with you, time has stopped. Calm down. We can do this. I hear the door open. It's showtime! Big O! Hello there. Welcome to Edith's Ca Aiden Campus. Voted the best place to work ever. I'm super excited to meet you. I am Celine, a lead marketing genius and your interviewer for today. Oh god, she's a devil! What was that? It felt as if I was in my dream again. Uh, are you okay? I thought I lost you for a second there. There's definitely something strange with this one. Don't worry though, she can't see or hear me right now. Maybe she can. You seem really nervous. It's okay though. I love how stressful these... I know how stressful these can be. Evil face. Let's sit back and relax and get going. Interview start. Oh, bring the heat. I'm ready. I don't trust her. But anyways, time has stopped. Ta-da! Let's review again. Before you respond, I will stop time to give you tips on what you should say. Save. This jam is so jamming. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. I turned it down on the OBS, but it's still a banger. It's still a banger in my ears. But even with my help, I can't respond for you. You will be presented with choices, and each worth a certain number of interview points. Try to choose the best answer. If you choose enough favorable answers, you will ace the interview and maybe even get called back. However, if you fail, I don't think it will be good. Everything makes sense? Everything making sense, yes. I'm ready. Interview shouldn't be nerve-wracking. Let's just have a fun, chill conversation, okay? I can't even hear myself. Think. Let's break the ice. So why are you here? Easy peasy. It might seem like a stupid question, but it will reveal a lot about yourself. So let's think about this carefully. Oh my gosh, I got turned down. I can't. Lady, your boss battle music jam is intense. You wouldn't be here if you weren't interested in the job, right? Think of an answer that matches the job description and the ideals of the company. What would you say? <laughs> I'm here for the silly work of it's a PTO! <laughs> this one. Great, now say it out loud. Eden Corporation is a perfect fit for my career path. Here I can learn and grow. Great answer. We definitely are looking for people who are excited about what we do. Working here is a career for life with a super amazing community. That's a little creepy, but you did it. I sense that your IP increased. Keep choosing your words wisely and try to ace this interview. 
After reviewing your resume, we were really impressed. A recent graduate, too. Eating Corporation is known for finding and cultivating the finest students. We have so many opportunities for all majors. So now that I know you're excited about us, with so many amazing candidates out there, what makes you stand out and vibe with our culture? What is your culture? Did she seriously just say vibe? She must be trying so hard to get those millennial hires, am I right? It looks like she wants to see how you are unique from other hires. I have an impressive resume. <laughs> I know what the wrong answers are, at least. I think this is the right one. I'm just a recent graduate, so I don't have more experience than anyone else. Oh, wow, that's great. I'd love to hear more about your ideas. Nice, looks like you nailed that one. Good job. Definitely got the highest interview points possible. I'm going to ask you something that might be a little uncomfortable now. Don't worry, just answer honestly. Now that I know a little bit more about who you are, tell me about a time you handled a mistake in a past position. How did you overcome it? Oh boy, this is one of the tough ones we talked about. I'm nervous for you. Are you ready for this? Make sure you're confident in your answer. Also remember to put a positive spin on it, just like we talked about. Hmm, this one gets me every single time. Let me think clearly. There was this time I made a major typo at my past internship, but that might make me seem unreliable and unfit for the job, or would it? I could say I got it fixed immediately, though. Alternatively, I could make something up about being a perfectionist or working too hard, but would that make me seem less credible? How should I respond? Should I tell us that story or make something up on the fly? my last internship, I made a typo on a piece before it was sent out, but I was able to realize my mistake and fix it. I made sure to communicate with my team and my boss, fixing the situation quick, problem, fixing the problem quickly. Oh, that's definitely the best answer. Ever since then, I, I made sure to be extra careful. Thanks for sharing with me. Everyone makes mistakes, you know. It's totally awesome that you got past that. It sounds like you're on top of things. Yes, great response. I have a feeling that you are on the right track. Keep it up. Okay, I've had enough of these boring interview questions. Our excellence team has prepared a lot of fun questions to get to know you better. We are not a traditional company and we want to pick your brain. The next question will reveal a lot about you to us. I still sense some nervousness from you, so let's just have some fun. Oh no, it looks like she's about to pull out the brain teasers. Get prepared for really awful and weird questions. I'm not ready. Let's have some fun. Boop, boop, boop. She's gonna transform into the goddess. You will not be worthy. Give up now. I will destroy you piece by piece. Okay. Oh, what is this? Bullshit. <laughs> is she somehow connected to my dream? Or am I just imagining things? No, time to hesitate now. Something is strange here, but I can't narrow it down. I am sensing a powerful aura from her. Just ignore it for now, and we can talk about it later. Focus on doing your very best. I feel like she can... Teaser start. I know this might sound random, but I promise it isn't. I was eating spaghetti for lunch, and it had me thinking about how wonderful pasta is. I don't care how many cocktails or whatever is in it. It's seriously so delicious. Plus, I'm always, usually, always working on my lunch, so I rarely get to enjoy it. <laughs> I'm getting carried away. If you were the type, were type of pasta, what kind would you be and why? Pick anything you desire. Check it out, Fredo. In nearly every interview resource I have, I have never seen a question like this. There were similar ones, though, but these you're expected to give a meaningful answer. Remember, there are no right or wrong answers here. Just pick what you think will make you stand out the most. 
There's lots of kinds of pasta. What? How do I even pick? Think about your favorite meal. Remember to think critically. Chicken Alfredo. Chicken Alfredo. Hmm. I like mac and cheese too. Hmm. I am a big fan of mac and cheese, but is that too basic? I could say something. I could serve myself mac and cheese because I'm reliable, but will that be interesting? I could also go with spaghetti. She just said she just ate some, right? Maybe I could show her that I think just like her. Make me a great fit for the position if I even want it at this point. There also has to be some type of pasta with a really cool name. I bet if I tell her that, I'd be impressed. I'd be impressed. The only thing is that I don't know much about it. What should I tell her? I like chicken alfredo, but mac and cheese works too. My favorite pasta is mac and cheese. I know it sounds basic, but it is reliably good and delicious choice for any meal. Plus, there's so many types. Creamy three cheese, spiral mac, and also fun little shapes. I could take many forms depending on the situation. It is also my go-to lunch. Haha. <laughs> You are so right. My favorite are the princess shapes. Who doesn't love that? You seem like you'd be fun to work with. Plus, I could tell, totally tell you put a lot of thought into that. I like that answer. Boy, you just answered critically and honestly. Nice job on that one. I have a feeling that the end of this is nearing. Still not much about the actual job, but that's expected from the first interview. <laughs> we are almost out of time. I have one more question left. My next meeting is in five. We have a sup super fun team bonding session. Don't worry, if we hire you, there's plenty of those. Final question. Boom, boom, boom. This is it. It's going to be tough, but you absolutely got this. You will fail. What? That's a thought. I'm not really sure what's going on, but the intensity seems high. The entire room is a dark void. I feel under some immense, unexplainable pressure. I just need to get past this question and get out of here. Alright. The final question. This is a hypothetical situation and a little weird, so bear, bear with me. I'm an alien queen, and you are now being held hostage in this room by me. You can only use the materials in front of you. How do you convince me to let you free? How do you convince Alien Queen Selene to let you escape? Um, what? Okay, calm down. This is probably the hardest of them all. This is definitely a test to see how you think critically. I'll take the pen and I'm gonna jam it in your eyeball. <laughs> a marketeer would never have to fight against an alien invasion, right? But a marketeer would have to convince their customers. More than likely, she wants you to have a creative answer, something out of the box and unique. Let's detail what's in here. I can help you narrow it down. It looks like we are in an office with many desk supplies, a whiteboard, markers, phones, chairs, a computer, you name it. My advice would be to choose a skill that matches your job description. By going in marketing, you are looking to probably sell or promote their products. Their company is very product driven and they are a huge fan of startups. Although this question may sound stupid, it can reveal a lot about your skills. You think you can handle this? Yeah, I think so. I got you. Prof T stopped time for a minute so I can think. I need to convince them. Maybe I can choose something that shows how creative I am. Maybe this is a trick question. Do I need to use any materials or should I come up with a solution with materials? I could also attempt to break out of the room using supplies. That would be the obvious answer, right? Let's see, maybe I should use my interpersonal communication skills via the phone. Lastly, maybe I should could all, try to find a solution that covers anything, everything, although time is running out. There's too many options. There is no wrong answer again, but think like a corporation, like those overused standardized tests. There's always the best sounding answer for your situation. I am unable to stop time for too much longer. Hurry! What should I say? Hmm. No materials are needed. Maybe I can talk to them instead. Hmm, that's hard. 
I feel like the phone might be the best because I can actually communicate. I'm not using interpersonal skills if I leave a message on the board. But that's the one I'm going to click. It's the longest. Good, quick thinking and nice use of materials. Huh? I never thought of that solution. Interesting. The scenery changed back to normal. And she didn't seem to have any comment on my performance. Something weird is going on. She kept a straight poker face. I have no idea what she's thinking. Hmm. I have seemed to lost my train of thought. Oh, would you look at the time? I, I have a team meeting in five. I feel like I learned a little bit more about you. Let's wrap this up. Do you have any questions for me? I am confident I can end this on a good note, despite the weird circumstances. Yeah, thanks for spending this time with me. What's your favorite part about working here? You seem to talk about it a lot, so I wanted to ask. Thanks for asking. I think my favorite thing is getting the opportunity to write marketing for a growing business like this. I have a lot of creative freedom, which is what I value most. If you were part of the team, you would be able to experience the same thing. Such thoughtfulness. You are a very impressive candidate. Your answers were thoughtful and creative. I would love to see you here for a second interview. I really hope to see you again soon. I'll lead you out. Follow me. Yes, you did it. We are an unstoppable team. Yay. With my help, you'll definitely nail that second interview. This is just the beginning, though. I won't stop until you get the job. We have lots of work to do. I'm happy I made a good impression, but something is still bothering me. Yeah, I wanted to talk with you about that. I sensed a mysterious force who has the same powers as mine. I'm going to have to do some extensive research into that. But let's celebrate for now. For now. <laughs> I know something fun we could go. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm so relieved this is over. Interviews can be intense and super scary, but with my guide, I feel like I can take on anything. The possibilities are endless. I am excited to see what the future holds. You have won, for now. There's a long road ahead, and even tougher people to face. Navigate this world, and you shall win. But be careful, or you may become one with your fears. I look forward to meeting again. Hey, I actually like that. That was pretty dope. It kept my interest throughout, and it's written, it's written, it's written pretty well, so it's not like super hard to read. So that's some problem with visual novels is the grammar starts slipping, or it's like English isn't the first language, so it's a little bit hard to keep up with. But this was actually super nice and enjoyable. And we'll see if I can get the other ending because there's supposed to be two. Um, but yeah, I'd be interested to see more of this when it comes out. This one. Alright, so I'm not going to like read the things that we've already seen, but when we do like a new answer or something's different, we'll change. I think the second ending would just be failing this. I want the job. No! God! Wait! I went too fast. I'm here for the silly work events of PTO. I'm not sure that's what she wanted to hear. I'll give you a hint. This company wants people who are excited about their initiatives, even if they you have no clue what they are in their company culture. Choose the best answer based on that. Let's try again. Easy peasy. Oh wait, I can't pick it? Oh my god, it won't let me pick it. Alright, let's try the different one then. Wow, does it make me pick the right one? How do I get the second ending then? Oh, I keep clicking the same thing. Oh my god. Hmm. I'm kind of curious how you get the second ending then. Alright. I have an impressive resume. Well, 
all of our application applicants have impressive resumes. That's part of being chosen, the chosen ones for Eden. That wouldn't make you say now. She already has your resume too, so she knows what's on it. Also, referring people to chosen ones is super creepy. Anyways, let's focus on the next one and try again. Okay, hit me with it. And now we lie to her. Tell a story about being too much of a profession. So, um, actually, when I'm at work, I tend to be too much of a professionist at times. There was one time I worked on a project and I, uh, just kept working on it. The deadline was fast approaching and I couldn't stop. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're all perfectionists here. I was looking for more of an example, but that's okay. Not the worst, but was that story even real? You seemed a little nervous about but she might have pulled it off. She doesn't seem pleased or displeased. Okay, I've had enough of these boring interview questions. Our excellence team- Oh, you read that already. Hit me with weird questions. This time I'm gonna be a fancy noodle. God dang it. consider myself a cavatappi. I mean a cavatappi. I don't know much too much about the type of pasta, but it's something I'd like to learn about. Plus, I wouldn't consider myself a typical noodle. <laughs> it's okay, I kind of put you on the spot. That's such a cool pasta name. I've never heard of it, but it has to be real. Let's move on. You seem less confident in that one, but I think you still managed to make a little bit of an impression. Nice. I have a feeling the end is nearing. Still not much about the actual job, but that's to be expected. Oh, I already read these. God dang it, I keep reading the thing again. <laughs> okay, skip. Final round, fight! Cask, I don't wanna skip, I'm too far into it. I'm afraid I'll skip it and not get the other ending. Hit me with a girl. I will simply break the lock. Hmm, that's definitely a way out, but would a marketeer think like that? That's the easy way out. Hopefully this makes you lose. Huh, I never thought of that solution. Interesting. Scenery changed back to normal. She didn't seem to have any comment on my- Did we get the same ending? What? Oh, would you look at the time? I have a t Did we get the same ending? I feel like I did this before. The words cannot come out. Oh, here we go. Fear is overpowering me. I don't have any. Always ask a question. Don't forget that. You always need to prepare a set of questions for after an interview to show your interest. There's no point. I know I didn't do well. I couldn't even manage to impress her with Professor T's help. I'm worthless. Hey, it's okay, my friend. We will get them next time. Plus, is this even where you want to work anyways? Don't worry how it went. It was a valuable experience nonetheless. Valuable? I'm not so sure about that. I have an aching feeling in my chest I can't ignore. Well, thanks for your time. If we are interested, HR will be in touch. But, I got to go. Have a nice day. Yes, we got the other ending. Her fake smile revealed all. At least it was over. Or was it? Bomb bomb. Ho ho ho! Don't you understand? This will always be your position. You suck! Even the help of a god isn't enough. 
There is no hope for victory. Reality seemed to be slipping away from before my very eyes. Why must it be like this? Hey, what are you doing? Please answer me. Hello? What the fuck? <laughs> 3232J241I32U9483209 for U32 Oh god, I'm not reading that one. <laughs> Disconnected. <laughs> and if you fail, try again. Accept defeat. Alright guys, we got both of the endings. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool game. I like that. I'll definitely check it out when the full release came out. It's interesting. Um, and I like that the endings are basically passed or failed. It wasn't like I had to do something very specific. Because that can get kind of annoying when you have to play through it a million times trying to do something that's like exactly the way it has to be done. But, yeah, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching as always.